Welcome back! We are in the St. Louis Cathedral. And, um, let's see if there's anything we can do. Looks like there is a confessional on the left here. That door must lead to the priest's side of the confessionals. Curtain confessionals are a subtle, old-fashioned presence on the left of the nave. I wonder. I bet Gabriel has something to confess. The confessional is about the size of a closet and is richly paneled in lovingly oiled. May I help you, my child? Oh, uh... Yes, let's make a confession. I'd like to make a confession. All right, if it will make you feel better. I've done some pretty rotten things to my friend Mosley. Rotten? What do you mean? Practical jokes, insults, among other things. I see. Are you sorry? Well... No, not really. Pay for forgiveness and say three rosaries. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. Goodbye, then. Peace go with you. All right. The confessional is about the size of... A mesh window provides access to the confessional from the priest's booth. It's a cushion kneeler. Oh well, not much here, but what did you expect? Maybe the other one's more interesting. Not really. Seems to be about the same. Except for one thing. Oh. May I help you, my child? Um, yes, yeah, so let's make another confession. I'd like to make a confession. All right. If it will make you feel better. Some people say I'm a selfish person, Father. Particularly Grace. We can always strive to improve ourselves. Patterns can be broken. Yes. Thank you, Father. Is there anything else? Nope. That's it. Goodbye, then. Peace go with you. Right. Uh, there's one difference between the two uh, confessionals. There appears to be a knot in the wood here. There's a knot hole about the size of a quarter in the wood paneling on that wall. But I'm sure that's completely unimportant. Can we go into the priest's door? Gabriel cannot go in there. That's the priest's part of the confessionals. Let's see... Um... There's another door on the right here. There's an inconspicuous door near the chancel. Not that inconspicuous. It's fairly easy to spot. Let's see what's behind there. A room. How unexpected. The small nook must be used as a ready room for the parish priest. It's small and has a faintly institutional feel. It's a picture of Christ. Green candles. Hmm. Could that mean something? Probably not. No idea. A padded red bench provides seating. A long wooden table accents the room. Appropriately sacred books are laid out on the table. I love my hair. Yeah, I kind of got that idea already. This small nook. A crucifix adorns the wall. Can we take that? The crucifix might come in handy. But Gabriel does not feel guilt-free enough to wield it. <laughs> Besides, we're unlikely to fight vampires, I think. There's a box of white priest's collars in the closet. Can we take that? Well, you never know when a priest's collar will come in handy. 
I have no idea why they might come in handy, but whatever. The closet shelves are stocked with the odds and ends of a saintly life. In other words, nothing Gabriel is familiar with. The closet in a the closet in other words. Just sort of standing in the wah! No, I did not mean to go outside the room. A freshly starched black priest's shirt stands out against the white robes in the closet. Well, since we got the collar, might as well get the whole suit. I can't resist black. The closet shelf in a green bubble enough. Our switch? The small No. Well there is, but not that we can look at. Um there's two ways to get out of here. If you go here, you go back to the square. If we go here, we go to the map. Never mind the fact that that's not where Gabriel left his motorcycle. The game does not care. We heard about uh, the crime scene. Which has now been added to our map. So, let's see if our friend Mosley is there, and if we can learn anything more about these voodoo murders. The crime scene team is still at the site. Gabriel parks a bit out of the way and walks over to avoid adding to the general confusion. It's CSI New Orleans. Well, I guess they're finishing up. Hey, mostly. Huh? <sighs> Night, you weird. I told you not to call me that. Feeling jumpy? Who, me? Don't be stupid. How'd you find me? Oh, I was just driving by. Sure. Mm hmm. Well, for the book. But don't tell anyone I let you see this, huh? It's another one. As you can see, same M.O. and no frickin' clues. We're still waiting on an ID for the body. That's disgusting. Isn't this a rather, uh, public area for this kind of thing? Yeah, they're frickin' ghosts, these guys. Lakeshore Drive isn't exactly the 10 Expressway, but it is open to the public. No reports and nothing. Now, who the hell is that? Good question. Ooh, enticing eyes. Good day, Miss Getty. What's going on, officer? Detective Mosley, ma'am. We've got a little problem here, but nothing for you to be concerned about, Miss Getty. I see. Thank you, detective. And good day, gentlemen. Whoa, I'm in love. Forget it. That's Molly Getty. She's about as far out of your reach as the moon. Probably on her way to meet some guy with a yacht right now. Near here? The lake's a popular place for country clubs. If she's out here a lot, maybe she saw something or heard something. Man, nobody ever sees or hears nothing. I told you. Besides, you just don't go around bothering people like her. We've about wrapped it up, sir. It's another clean sweep. Yeah, let's get the meat wagon moving, then. Do you want to leave an officer here, sir? Nah, just leave the tape up for a few days. Yes, sir. If you'll excuse us, sir, we'll take him away. Stick around and take notes for the book if you want. Watch out for the muck in the water moccasin, though. I'll be back at the station. Stop by if you want to go over the case some more. Thank you. 
No, that was interesting. Not just the whole crime scene bit, but also that uh, Malia Getty. Wait a second. Wasn't Getty the name on that big tomb in the uh, cemetery? It was, wasn't it? Interesting. And I have a feeling Gabriel has a vested interest in seeing more of uh, Malia Getty. And I have to admit, uh, I kind of see his point. She is very attractive. Unfortunately, we don't know where she lives, so unless we want to go by and uh, interrogate everyone at every country club along the lakeside, that's kind of a problem. Oh well, we'll have to deal with that when the time comes. Oh, and by the way, if you're thinking that uh, Detective Mosley sounds familiar, you'd be right. He is actually voiced by Mark Hamill. Yes, it's Luke Skywalker himself, who does actually do quite a lot of uh, voice work. One of his more famous voice roles, um, which you might know, is as the Joker in the Batman animated series. Very famous for his laugh there, which I cannot duplicate, so I will not try. But here he voices Detective Mosley. And uh, let's see. Let's take a look at this crime scene. Gabriel is on the sand and clay shore of Lake Pontchartrain. At the site where some poor bastard got to see who the voodoo murderer really are. The site is now deserted. Let's see. There's blood. Out. Out down the spot. Will these pristine banks ne'er be cleaned again? <laughs> sure. It's a bit uh, overly dramatic. Maybe we can take a closer look with our magnifying glass. Oh, I feel like we're playing Laura Bow all of a sudden. It's blood, all right. I guess we could see that without a magnifying glass. Gabriel is... It's extremely big. Bloody sand. Not much else of interest to see there, though. Gabriel, the sight. Out. I think we can also magnify the regular sand anywhere. It's extremely big sand. Not very uh, helpful. Grass. Patches of grass have managed to survive life on the banks of Lake Pontchartrain. Oh, well, uh, let's see if we can find something here, but we'll have to do it in the next video.